Hello everyone, this is Xiaoqing Catherine Zhang from DNA Learning Center at Coastal Harbor Lab. Today we're going to talk about imaging for science research. Guess what's this? Lightning? No, actually it's a neuron. I was using two photo microscope imaging a whole cell hippocampus pyramidal neuron. Look at it how beautiful the cell is. Two photon microscope allow you to see this tiny structure of the neuron. For example, here I was imaging the spines on the dendrites. To show you here, so first of all, we know in the natural world, certain animals, plants, or fungi, they could express something called a fluorescent protein that will give them a color and uh, the UV light. So we can take advantage of that. Um, for example, I was using green fluorescent protein from a uh, jellyfish, a special one called Victoria uh, Aquaria. And I just to find out the gene for green fluorescent protein and then use a special restriction enzyme, cut it out. And then later on, because I want to express that green gene in the mouse cells, so I pick up a mouse cell uh, DNA expression vector and use the same restriction enzyme to cut it open. Next. I inserted this piece of GFP green fluorescence protein gene into the mouse cell DNA expression vector, use a special protein called the Legis. And then I was able to introduce this new DNA construct into the cells in the mouse and make it green. I also uh, cut the hippocampus green, uh, brain tissue and culture them in this special chamber. And then later on, I use a gold particle and coated with a DNA I cloned um, with the help of a special chemical called spermidine. And then I was able to make bullets from it and then use this gene gun to shoot that gold particle bullet um, into the cells. And that will help me to get um, individual pyramidal neurons labeled with green fluorescent protein with very low background. Then later on, after a few days, I will image the cells under a special microscope like this. It's called a two-photon microscope. Uh, you see there's this working station, you have computer connected to it, and then this is the microscope part, and this is the laser station and the air table. Uh, it looks complicated, but the result was amazing. The data I collected from those experiments were published in Journal of Biochemistry. Scientists also use virus as a vector to carry the desired DNA into the cells. That way you get more cells infected, more cells express the targeted gene. Here is an experiment done by a professor working at Coastal Harbor Lab, Dr. Bo Li. You see here, he used that method, infected the animal brain and imaged the individual neurons um, electronic property, those dots here, in a living animal. We also need to 
pay over respect to Dr. Roger Tan because he was the scientist made all those beautiful colored genes available for any scientist in the world to do scientific investigation. This is a picture um, done by scientists. All the different neurons were labeled uh, with different color. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.